Hi everyone, welcome back to Investing Club. In this video, we're gonna be talking about gold, specifically if gold is a good investment and the potential it has in your portfolio. We're gonna be looking at two of the most successful investors of all time, Warren Buffett and Ray Dalio, who both have very different opinions on gold and we'll see why their opinions differ on if you should be invested in gold. So first we'll start with Warren Buffett and Warren Buffett has been a longtime critic of gold. And Warren Buffett has such a dislike of gold mainly because gold doesn't produce any value. Right, he says in this quote right here, if all the gold in the world was melded together, it would form a huge cube and then it would just sit there. It wouldn't do anything for you and all you could do is just look at it. What Warren Buffett would much rather own is an asset that produces value, like a business that generates cash every year or land that grows crops every year. Those assets are things that will produce a much greater return over time, according to Warren Buffett. Basically, to summarize his views, here's a quote from when he was on CNBC talking about the quality of gold. As you an had a shareholder who asked you a question about gold over the weekend, and your response was pretty in interesting. Berkshire versus gold, you want to talk about how that's performed over the years? Yeah, but we can go beyond that. But certainly, when we took over Berkshire, uh, Berkshire was selling at $15 a share, and gold was selling at $20 an ounce. And, and gold is now $1,600 and uh, Berkshire's 120,000. But, but you can take a broader example than that. If, if, you, if you buy an ounce of gold today and you hold it 100 years, you can go to it every day and you can, you can coo to it and you can caress it and, and you can fondle it and, and, and 100 years from now, you'll have one ounce of gold and it won't have done anything for you in between. If you buy 100 acres of farmland, it will produce for you every year. You can use that money to buy more farmland. You can do it, all kinds of things. For, for 100 years, it'll produce things for you. And you still have 100 acres of farmland at the end of the 100 years. Uh, you could buy the Dow Jones Industrial Average for 66 at the start of 1900. Gold was then $20. At the end, it was 11400 But you'd all gotten dividends for 100 years. So a productive asset of any kind, a decent productive asset, is going to kill a non-productive asset over time. Now, in any given one-year period, five-year period, any asset can outperform another Warren asset. Warren Buffett believes that buying assets that produce value is a much better investment over the long term than gold. So now we can take a look at Ray Dalio and his opinion on gold. Ray Dalio takes a different stance on gold than Buffett, which is summed up nicely with his quote, if you don't own gold, you know neither history nor economics. So Ray Dalio is someone that views gold as an alternative to cash. So it's not an investment in the same sense as a business or another type of asset, but he says there is value to holding gold as an alternative to cash. And that is summed up nicely in this interview clip. Hmm. You recently talked about a paradigm shift and how one should actually consider putting gold in one's portfolio. Why do you think gold is now a good bet? Do you think a downturn is inevitable? Well, uh, first of all, um, I think every portfolio should have the right amount of diversification in it. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to approach the question as both a strategic asset mm -hmm. allocation uh, move to put gold in a portfolio that I believe it always should be a certain part of a portfolio because there's a certain environment that it, that it diversifies the portfolio well and a certain environment to worry about. I also think that that environment is riskier, more likely recently now. And that environment is one in which it becomes very difficult to stimulate the economy and there's a desire to depreciate the value. I think that um, in an evolutionary way over the next uh, one, two, and three years that there will be a turn for the worse. Yes, I think that there'll be an environment in which um, you're going to have excess capacity and debt restructurings and political issues entering into it. I think the elections um, that we're going to have in the United States uh, mm -hmm. will have an important bearing. It is um, a contrast or a conflict between uh, the capitalists and socialists. I think we're going to see more of that. I think there's going to be an effect, um, a, a risk for capitalism and a need to Is monetary. a recession in the U.S. inevitable? Well, of course, the recessions are always inevitable. The only question is when. And I think that... Do you see one coming? Yeah, I think that in the next... Uh, two years, uh, let's say prior to the next election, there's probably a 40% chance of a recession. And mm -hmm. I think that you're seeing this around the world. We're in Singapore. I think you can see that there's borderline mm -hmm. uh, a limited amount of growth. You could see it through Asia. You could see it in Europe and you could see it in the United States. So overall, Ray Dalio is not very confident in the economy and the government's ability to control the currency. He sees the huge amount 
of money printing going on. We can take a look at the Fed's balance sheet. The size of the Fed's balance sheet has ballooned in the past few months. And so he thinks this will have an adverse effect on different investments like stocks, businesses, and real estate. And this is from one of his most recent letters. So talking about stocks, real estates, and other type of assets, he says he thinks those are unlikely to be good real returning investments and that those that do best when the value of money is being depreciated like it is right now is to buy investments like gold that tend to hold their value. And so Ray Dalio obviously believes this very heavily. He was a huge buyer of gold in the second quarter. His hedge fund Bridgewater Associates invested 400 million in gold over the past few months. And even though Warren Buffett believes equities provide a greater return compared to gold over the long term, it turns out gold has actually been outperforming Warren Buffett since around the year 2000. So for the past 20 years, gold has provided a greater return than Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. And we can even take a look at gold compared to the S&P 500, where here the red line is gold and the blue line is the stock market. And since just around 2004, we can see gold is also outperforming the S&P 500 as a whole. So that definitely makes the case while probably over a very long period of time, stocks and businesses will outperform gold. There are certain periods of time when events are happening, like a large amount of quantitative easing and devaluing the currency that gold will do well. So this isn't financial advice, but in my, I think most of an investor's portfolio does best when it's invested in businesses or other assets that produce something of value. That being said, there are attractive qualities to gold, especially in a time like this where there's a lot of uncertainty and global currencies are being devalued at a, at a record speed. So I think at this point in time, it makes sense to own a small percentage of gold or gold companies in a portfolio. Me personally, I don't own any gold or, or gold stocks yet. However, I am looking very closely and I have found a couple of gold stocks that I do think have a lot of upside potential. And I do want to have some exposure to gold in my portfolio for the reasons I just said. So I likely will be starting a position in one of these companies soon. If you want me to drop a video on the different gold stocks I'm thinking about investing in, hit the like button. And if we get a ton of likes on this video, I know that people want to see the gold stocks that I'm thinking about buying. So that's it for this video, looking at Ray Dalio and Warren Buffett, two very successful investors who have different views on gold. Let me know who you agree more with in the comments and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.